for my Netflix documentary. She was absolutely over the moon. Uh, there were a lot of tears, a lot of emotion. She was very, very happy. And the donor probably was even happier because she had some time to recover from the anesthesia. So it was a very joyous moment for everybody. So she's doing really, really well. She has started having menstrual periods and that means her prospects of having a baby are very high. Uh, she needs to stay on immunosuppressive therapy and to be closely monitored and we hope to be doing an embryo transfer in the autumn. Since getting diagnosed with cancer and, and the hysterectomy, the infertility was such a huge part of that and you grieve, you really do. Being able to carry my own child and have that experience of feeling it um, being able to breastfeed and being able to have a 